I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. I'm going to help by uh, trimming out some of this brush. And uh, that's the main thing about a fence line. Uh, before he gets up here to work on it, I've got to have all this brush out of the way. So you need a good set of gloves. Uh, these ones are kind of wore out. But you got to be very careful, usually even with a set of gloves. But you definitely want a pair of gloves when you're dealing with bob wire. <clears throat> so I usually just take it and kind of start me a circle. And then if I just walk it like this, it very, very slowly, just keep on going, right on down it, roll it all the way till I get to the end. This isn't near as pokey. I've actually done it this way with bare hands. Not the right thing to do, but I have. <laughs> and then just once you've got it all rolled up. It needs to be. You just take the end and just put it around and around. Oops. And there we go. We got ourselves a nice little roll piece. of wire. And, and we can use it again if we need to. Yes, but, and you want to be sure you don't store it on the fence or leave it where the animals can get into it once you've uh, rolled it up like that or once you've taken it loose or have it, have it uh, loose in any way because you don't want your animals caught up in barbed wire for any reason. So this one's like that right now because I'm going to put that back. I'm just making it so I can walk back and forth. Yeah, once we get done with this uh, this little chore, we will be being sure that there is no barbed wire left that any animal can get in, into and hurt themselves. And now he's clearing because it got really thick up in here, as you can tell. Clearing this, we have found cherries. So the cherries and the blueberries bloom at about the same time and they, they ripen at about the same time. So uh, just now the blackberries are, are getting ready to go out of season and very soon it will be the blueberries and the cherries. So we're excited to see that uh, we have some beautiful cherries happening. I don't know if you can see them or not, but here are the, here are the cherries. And they are wild cherries, and wild cherries are still just as good for making wine. Okay, so these are a set of wire cutters. Actually, these are called bolt cutters. And this, these aren't really that great a pair, but I'm only, I only use them for cutting wire. And they work good for that. So you just slide it in there and press down. And they clip right off. <laughs> All right. Usually I leave a little extra on there. But because I got two sets of wires, I got uh, my field fence and my um, barbed wire running down through here. I'm not going to leave extra to tie it back because it's hard to tie back on there anyway with it this way. So we got this one all tied up and ready to go. And we're going to go for the next one here shortly. Okay, when Daniel clips this one, it may fly. Like there's a lot of tension just like that. Did you see it? Wow. <laughs> So, yeah, he, he asked me to step back and told me this may fly. So, it can be a little dangerous, this job. So, you've got to um, take it in steps. 
And I found that I had my hair down, and having my hair down was not a good idea, so I had to put my hair back up. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't work so good. That's why you saw me flipping my hair out of my face. But uh, yeah, I had, I, we took a break, and I went to the house and put my hair up. Can you carry these for me, please? I can. This grapevine is going to grow up right in this fence line. And of course, he's not going to cut it. <laughs> Yep, that's beautiful. We've got brand new grapes coming on this grapevine. So Daniel just about has all this uh, barbed wire up. And uh, the reason I'm not standing down there is because we had a little blue jay uh, that kept squawking at us. And I said, that dog's about to get uh, pecked in the head. And he said, no, it's more likely we'll get pecked in the head. So I'm standing over here. We're going to see. I hope that I hope that doesn't happen. I'm so thankful, though. Daniel did find his, his leather gloves for this job. And that's, that's going to be great. That makes it so much easier. So Daniel's going to have come me over here. You gotta actually look at have it. me come look at this. Over here. You see how you got the long side and you got a short side on this, right? Yep. So you're going to grab the long side with the pliers. And you probably have to work at it just a little. It's not, it's not really all that hard. But if you, as soon as you can get a hold of it, you just pinch it and just roll it around the wire. Pretty much have it done. And then this, just probably pull up. There. And it's all undone. All right. That's becoming my job. I get to do this all the way down the fence line. <laughs> this is the fence we're getting ready to move over yeah, to the other go, fence. And the it's going to go right down through there where we just cleared it up. Yep, it's going to go right down where we just cleared up. And the sheep have actually kept this fence line pretty well groomed. So there's not a whole lot to do on this one. I think we have fiddlehead fern here. Um, fiddlehead fern can actually be eaten. Uh, you eat the little the little fiddleheads that come up early in the spring, probably about actually February. So here are some of our forageables. Beautiful. We just have like a lot, a lot of this fiddlehead fern. Fiddlehead fern and. Uh, I, at first, I thought it'd be just a beautiful house plant. Daniel says, no, these are the ones that, that grow the little fiddleheads, and you can actually eat them. And, and uh, I'm, I'm so surprised. I love them. Love the idea of foraging.
I think I'm finally getting the hang of this. We've got some places where animals have been going under our fence on each side here. And I think I've actually uh, seen um, it, foxes go under before. Yeah, fox come under actually. So that may be what that is. But we're, we're almost done good. taking the barbed wire off. And, and there's like a gazillion of these little things that you gotta you gotta deal with. Yeah, there's actually uh, four of those retainer. So there's four retainer clips per T post. Four per T post. So I get to deal with the rest of these. I'll be back. <laughs> I found me a handy little spot for all of these little things that are coming off this fence. Yeah, I don't care. They're called something special, Daniel says, but I, I'm, yeah, I'm not about that. Anyway, so that's what, I, what I've been doing with them. I took them out of my pockets, and there they are in, the, in this little bowl of a tree stump. So nice. And fencing little things are a big deal.